Hi friends, hope you are doing fine. I am Dr. Ganguly. Welcome to my channel. So today I am going to talk about the Max Planck Research Institutes and specifically about various internships you can get in these institutes. So these internships may be for a few months or it may be even for more time depending on the particular problem you are working on. So the Max Planck Institutes are a collection of research institutes in Germany. There are more than 80 of these and these two basic research and some applied research. So these institutes are structured such that they focus on certain type of problems. These problems are essentially multidisciplinary or interdisciplinary. And what the institute does is that it brings a large number of scientists and engineers under one roof who can then do research in these particular problems. So I'm going to give you a selection or sampling of some of these institutes which is going to help you to get an idea about the breadth and diversity of these institutes. So let's begin. Now there is the Institute for Informatics, Institute of Biological Cybernetics, Institute for Tax Law and Public Finance, Institute of History of Science, Institute of Heart and Lung Research, Institute for Dynamics of Complex System, Institute for Crime, Security and Law, Institute of Brain Research, Institute of Biological Intelligence, Institute of Biochemistry, Institute of Social Anthropology and so on. And actually, I had the privilege of working in the Max Planck Institute during my Humboldt research and this was in the Institute of Metal Research in Stuttgart. I think now it is something like Institute of Material Research. So again, the way these institutes are structured is that they have a director and there are a large number of scientists who work under his or her guidance. Now, typically these scientists have PhD, they often have many papers under their belt, they often have postdoctoral experience and so on. Now, it will be interesting for you to note that many Nobel Prize winners have come out of these Max Planck institutes also. So you can think of these as kind of research universities but the primary focus is on research they typically have some programs where they give doctoral degrees also in conjunction with universities and of course there are a lot of postdoctoral researchers who work in these institutes so like i mentioned you can apply to these institutes even as a bachelor degree person master's degree or doctoral degree person and you can apply from any country around the world. So these intern positions are generally open to international students. Now, if you are a bachelor's degree person, you must have completed over five semesters because of course you realize that you need to know some of the basic skills before you can enter into a research institute. Now, I have made a video on some of the courses you should always take to prepare for some degree of competence in science and technology or any research domain. So I will leave that particular video in the end screen. Now you can apply for internships at any time of the year, but generally they feel that summer is the best time to work because that's the time when you also get a summer vacation from most typical university programs. Now let us look at four different problems or criteria which you need to keep in mind when you apply for these Max Planck internship. So the number one thing has to do with the funding and benefits. So essentially these internships are fully funded. They pay for the living cost, housing, round trip travel, visa and so on. So my experience in these Max Planck institutes is that they often have a guest house or they are able to put you in some dorm or some hostel in a nearby university or in some accommodation. Now they also are going to pay you more or rather they should pay you for more time if you have a longer research project. Now typically most of the research projects are for 12 to 14 weeks and some of them can last from 3 to 4 months. But if your supervisor or advisor at that institute feels that you need to work for more time then that is something which is also going to be possible. Now the second aspect is the language and the research work in these institutes is conducted in the English language so you can certainly know English and get by with it. German language is not generally required but of course it is advantageous to know German because Without knowing German, it may be somewhat difficult to be 
part of the full system of the institute or the universities in Germany because oftentimes presentations take place in German and in meetings also German is used as the language you can't expect the people there to learn English in meetings but there are of course some meetings which do take place in English because there is almost an international staff presence there so that's something which can help you in some cases. Now the number three issue has to do with the research group or persons you work with. Now what you will do is you will work with a particular research group so generally the work in the Max Planck Institutes is partitioned into a variety of research group and there is a group leader for each of these groups. So most often you will have some project which you may draft up in conjunction with this particular group leader and then you can work with him or her so there is going to be a certain faculty or scientist who is going to be your key point of contact at the Max Planck Institute. Now let's look at the fourth issue which is how do you apply. Now you have to apply to the institute of your choice. So like I mentioned because there are so many institutes you need to go to some of the ones which are more specific to you and look at them. You are going to find some of the opportunities there. There are also some specific portals which list all the different positions which are open at these institutes. So I am going to provide a link to these particular web pages in the description box so you can begin your research on the Max Planck Institutes from those particular web pages. Now what you need to apply is of course a cover letter, a curriculum vitae, transcript copies copy of some sample of your written work so this could be something which you have presented at a seminar or it could be even a term paper or a report you have written for some class for example maybe you have done some project as part of one of your courses and you wrote a report for that but typically it's always a good idea to have a paper under your belt whenever you apply for any kind of internships which have a research component so again I have mentioned the fact that Sometime it is possible for bachelor's degree student to even write papers in their third year or so. So suddenly that is going to help you. Again, I'm going to leave a video in the end screen which will provide you some guidance about how to write papers as a bachelor degree student. Now do remember that there are many conferences which take place around universities. It may be taking place at the particular university you work in and you can sometime talk to some professor and maybe write a paper to present at this particular conference. You can work in conjunction with a PhD student or a master's degree student even if you are a bachelor student. Of course if you are a master's degree student or a PhD student and you are going for this internship you are in a good position because you may already have some publication under your belt so that is certainly going to strengthen your case. Now the Next thing is about a letter of motivation. So this is somewhat like a statement of purpose because you need to exactly spell out what is the project you plan to do with whom you want to do it and so on. So once again it may be a good idea to send some emails to some particular researchers in these Max Planck Institutes to get more information about that. If you want to find their address and location you can search for papers being written by Max Planck Institute professors or researchers in Germany or around the world and you can do this in Google Scholar. So if you do that you are going to find links to their email addresses which are often given out in the journal papers and you can then write to them that you have read their particular paper and maybe you want to do some more contribution on that particular area. Now anytime you do some prior research before you approach a person that makes for a better case because do remember that people are often deluged by various emails from people around the world and so if it appears that you have done some homework, you have a good CV, you have attached a relevant paper, maybe you have gone through some of their papers that certainly makes it a better case because it does show that you have some passion for the particular research involved and you are somebody who actually wants to do research and not just somebody who wants to go to Germany and have a good time. So that's something which is very important to communicate in these particular cases. So this was my take on the Max Planck Institutes in Germany. Like I mentioned, these are kind of like national labs, but 
they are somewhat different from typical national labs for example nasa and so on in us because they are more in line with basic research so they are somewhat like universities and somewhat like national labs so i would say somewhere in between these two particular situations and they often do a lot of cutting edge research in fact if we look at the max planck institutes collectively they are in some of the top ranked institutes in the world so in fact they have many papers coming out of them and they also have nobel prize winners and so on and they have made substantial contributions to research and science also like i mentioned if you look at the different type of institutes you will see it's not just limited to science and technology but also include social sciences humanities even domains such as law medicine and health sciences and so on so you can apply to various max planck institute don't be limited by the fact that their their name may sound somewhat intimidating to you because what happens is that they may be doing different type of work they may have need for a mathematician they may have need for a biologist or they may have need for a criminal justice major or an anthropologist or even somebody who is an expert in the mandarin language so i'll end my video now and i will see you in a video sometime soon see you then